Now? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Some places still Who was your masked savior, we wonder? I sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. Nah, mate, I haven't got time for your runaround. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. So what? Bagley can crack it like a nut. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, Zero Day wins, which means we all die. Fuck me. Do I really have to cut off the prick's fingers? No. High-res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And sirs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old-fashioned way. Right. Torture. Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. Is that all? All right. This part of the craft can be... ugly. Send someone who can handle it. You got a ball, Bagley. I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Go on. The SIRS Home Office liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. That's where we're going then. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. Right. Found them. 
Download complete. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure. email threads indicate the home office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the three Hawker boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her, that's as good a place as any. Set the coordinates. Done. Please advise on the detention process. You're a funny one. What did I do? Huh? Ew! That's a rivet to secure, though. The Brisbane Cold said the Central Office. I am not get one of those cars. Not sign of way for you. Your 
location. Monitoring for unusual activity. What happened? What's an arsehole? Oh! Negative. No sign of suspect. Over. Suspect is gone. Issue an APW. You look like I need oven mitts. You know, because you're hot. Oh, fuck. Let me start again. Oh, if that's how you treat a one-liner, I shudder to think of what you do with two. Goodbye. All right, so you're in a bad mood. Being there, a drink usually helps. Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Thanks a lot for that, Bagley. Quit your whining. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and we've got the biggest saltwater aquarium in town. At least one of our fish is bound to be fuckable. Go on. Just try someone else. Maybe a woman this time. Having good people to fight alongside with makes this easier. Glad to have you. Haven't been here in a long time. You and me matched an invite recently, didn't we? If we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. Hold up, that was a lie. I'm just chirping you. Ah, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. I would have want that on my conscience. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private? Didn't know you could do that. What other secrets are you hiding? <laughs> A whole arsenal of babes. <laughs> so after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Yes, of course. I think I also took their heart, but what can I say? <laughs> I'm irresistible. Well done. What's next? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going, and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Put her on. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? Some things just aren't meant to be. You have to learn to let them go. Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. 
Was that the compliment I just heard? He's disconnected. You're fucking joking. I've marked the meeting location on your map. Don't hurry. Good boy, Bagley. You've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Is that really relevant, Bagley? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify... I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No. I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day, and I don't think I can beat her. Then give us a name and fuck off. And that's not a request. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of Sir's Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. There shouldn't be a problem then. Wait, wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, you'll have her and zero day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. We'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of Sir's fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. No. Until we find out more, Emma Child is going to be a lead, not a target. You hear? Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Bugs, use them dossiers to find out who works for her. We'll listen into their comms and we'll find her. 
done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter-Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So, if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her... I'm good with that. Let's do it. Migrants currently being held at the Kennington Oval enters its 10th day. Officials released a statement indicating that force feeding procedures would commence in order to safeguard the lives of the protesters. International agencies have called the situation a humanitarian crisis. Join us on GBB. That is the old MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. Oh, man. Throw myself into the deep end here. Bagley, don't scare her. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this. Access.
Case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. Say no more. Quick mission update. But you have to promise not to be mad. What? Just spit it all, man. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details. But suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. We're on the same side. Good job, mate. Now get out of there. We'll get in touch when we get something.
Look at that. Your plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Chard's organization than a nest of randy wasps. Whoa, that was fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Chard's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation, just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Define safe. All right, fair enough. So what next? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. I guess we know what to do then. Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting. Enough of this. It's too much of a coincidence. 
He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got wet work assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, ma'am. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. He's not answering. Forget him. I'm moving in now. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance. Charge has opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. Plugging you into Emma Child's com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing Auto but those switch channels available. to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalked that up to your problem, child. That, uh, well, Malik, was it? Ooh. Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. Auto drive There's now new disabled. evidence that suggests Malik may Auto be working drive with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. D shit, sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Oh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. Everyday worries can become every night worries. Round and round and round they go, until yesterday's worries become today's. Don't let sleep be a worry. One pop and the worries will stop. Karkani, sleep better. Just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because Auto one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. 
It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Yo, we did what you want and got proof Sycorax wants your ass dead. Maybe you never heard that part. I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye.